Our next speaker will be, sorry, I have to read Yuki Suzukida from uh, Kozuke Kaku Engineering Corporation, and he will talk on 5G advanced R&D project using OEI. Okay, thank you for introduction. And uh, thank the OEI community, uh, OEI community uh, to giving me the opportunity to present a demo. Uh, and my name is Yuki Skida, and I usually work at Kozo Keikaku Engineering uh, doing uh, R&D and software development of ICT, uh, especially physical player and Mac player. And today, I'd like to introduce a part of our R&D project. This project is sponsored by the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications of Japan. And in this project, we are responsible for implementing new methods proposed by the University of Electoral Communication of Japan. Uh, yes. Communication on Japan on actual equipment. We are we are implementing uh, two main methods on OAI. We call this method Flex1 and Flex2. Uh, first one is Flex1. Uh, enables low latency, low latency applying connections to multiple devices through ground free, non orthogonal multiple access. We have normal. And and flex to uh, uh, right hand uh, picture shows the uh, environment, uh, experimental environment of uh, over there. And this is a box. And um, your picture shows the uh, uh, execution display. And um, in the demo, I show this display and mainly introduce the uh, flex one. And Flex2 enables robust millimeter wave communication by using an optimal beam calculated from uh, information of channel and shielding predictions. The figure of the right shows is uh, experimental in an acrylic chamber. And Flex2 uses multiple values and support TV. And below picture shows the configuration of Flex2. Flex2, uh, we, we use uh, HTZ RF8, Xilinx uh, RF SOC on the board. And we use this hybrid beam program. And uh, I'd like to present technical details and implementation. Thank you. <laughs> 